everyone, Miro here. Welcome back to Puzzle Pieces with Puzzle Agent 2. Uh, last episode... Uh-oh. Uh, we were... Following Alfred, the uh, scientist, through the woods because he had a theory as to what... Where to find the hidden people. He, like, triangulated their home using moon patterns. Science. Um, and we've kind of lost track of him, so we gotta find him. Uh, slide the logs and arrange them to create a clear path for Nelson to find Alfred. Oh, oh, okay, I get it. Um, do a little bit of this, some of that, some of this, uh, some of this. No, they got us stuck. Um, let's see. If we can move. Oh, that's so close. Oh, well, no, that might not work. Cause like, that's not completely clear, technically. Hmm. You do like. Hmm. I kind of want these two up, so. Oh, that might work. Let's try that. There we go. Alfred go. There's more than one. We're being kidnapped. We're gonna be part of the missing persons list. Oh, no, they took us home? Hello? Nelson, I thought you'd never pick up. Jim? I was listening to the Scoggins tapes that you left and found some of the tapes. Jim, listen. Whatever you do, don't log the tape I sent you. Something massive is going on in Scoggins. Jeez, I mentioned the Hermes 2 and astronauts. If the director hears about any of this, it'll cause chaos in all the divisions. You can't let him know what's on that tape. It's too late, isn't it? Jim? <laughs> yeah, uh, I gotta go. Well... Gone? Oops. Nah, I know I know the gnomes are gone. It's okay. I it's okay. <laughs> it was gum though. Yeah, there we go. Um I don't think we have anything to talk to her about. Oh no, we do. We have a lot. Mrs. Garrett, was anyone pressuring you to keep me from checking in? What? Oh no. That business about the vacancies was just, um, er, uh, a clerical error. Oh, silly me. Well, okay. It's just that some people don't trust outsiders because they see this town as a family. 
a brotherhood of Scoggins, if you will. But that's no reason to be inhospitable. Okay. Is there anyone else staying in the hotel? To be honest, no. Why do you ask? Somebody left a strange note under my door last night. Couldn't see who it was. Oh my! I was at the desk all night, and I didn't see or hear anyone come in or out. Has anyone in town actually seen the hidden people? Agent Tethers, that's just crazy talk. The only gnomes in Skagans are the little wooden ones. Speaking of that, what happened to your collection from the window? Oh, those? I sold them to that nice man Steve at the diner. Made a tidy profit, too. Nobody's ever mentioned actually seeing one of the hidden people? Oh, Agent Tethers, they're just stories people tell to make the long winters more interesting. Nobody really believes in that. Except that poor Bo Murphy, I guess. And Steve, over at the diner. Oh, and the Brotherhood, of course. Bo? Have you seen Bo Murphy? The last time I saw him, he was in the alley, talking to someone. I was hoping to ask him some questions about it. Bo Murphy? Well, I haven't seen him in... Oh my, how long has it been since I've seen him? Must have been around the time you were here last. That's been quite some time. Mumbled something about going into the woods to finish a conversation. Haven't uh -huh. seen him since. Okay. Did you file a missing persons report with the sheriff for Bo Murphy? Oh my, no. I didn't even realize he was gone until you mentioned it. Bo was always a little unusual, even before he started talking about the whispers. I'm sure he'll be back before you know it. Can I get some of that hot dish, though? I'm actually kind of curious about that hot dish I've been hearing about. Oh, sorry, Agent Tethers. We really are out of the hot dish for real, I'm afraid. It's been a bad winter for Moose Meat, and the man who usually delivers the cilantro has gone mysteriously missing. I, what? There's Moose Meat in the hot dish? I'm gonna have to, like, look up a recipe for this and find out what it actually is. So long, Mrs. Garrett. You stay safe out there. Oh yeah, we have to use the back door, that's right. Oh, this isn't good. Director Jennings? Good work, Tethers. Seems like you found something pretty important to these boys. But uh, I- They'll take it from here. But- Enjoy yourself, Tethers. You're on vacation for Pete's sake. Go skiing, shoot a bear. As for me, I'm headed to that moose-ear diner. I hear they blend up one damn fine milkshake. Why don't you come along? If nothing else, maybe I can convince Director Jennings to listen to me at the diner. I've got to get to the bottom of all this before these agents cover everything up. I'd better check around town to see who, if anybody, is still on my side. Oh, that's my gum. Um, I guess we're gonna go to the diner? He said to come along. I'll take a milkshake. Mm -hmm. Roger. Trees? Mm -hmm. Strange odors? Nope. I'll just leave you guys to it then. <laughs> okay, I can actually talk to this dude this time. Equal distribution of weight between the birds. Twelve votes to title compensation circuit. The whispers. Oh. Hi, Steve. You're that FBI agent. Grapples? Tethers. Grapples. Have you seen Isaac Davner around town? Davner? The old eraser factory foreman? Oh, nobody's seen him since the incident. There seem to be a lot of missing persons cases around Scoggins. Yeah. Stuff happens. Did you know any of the missing people? 
I don't talk to a lot of people in town. Just here for business. Oh, okay. okay. What can you tell me about the hidden people? I'm not into that anymore. The market dropped out on gnome figurines. No, I mean real ones. Real hidden people? Are you trying to catch me saying something crazy? Is this entrapment? <laughs> Are you okay, Steve? You seem tense. I'm not tense. Lots of people have trouble sleeping. It doesn't mean anything. How long have you had trouble sleeping? Since the eraser factory reopened. Why? Just asking. Let's do a puzzle. How's business? I'm not into tchotchke smuggling anymore, if that's what you're asking. No, I, I was just... You can't prove anything. Calm down. Okay. It's that I just can't figure out this problem. Maybe you can help. Transport the four animals across the river in as many trips as you need. Keep in mind the boat's weight limit and prevent the critters from eating each other. Oh yeah, I love these. Bear will eat the wolf, wolf will eat the mongoose, mongoose will eat the snake, and the snake will eat the bear somehow. <laughs> Boat has a weight limit of 201. Okay. Um. Is it gonna tell me? It's not gonna tell me how much is in the boat. It's gonna make me do the math. Okay, let me write the. Oh, no. Uh. So, bear eats wolf. Wolf eats mongoose, mongoose eats snake, and the snake is a badass and manages to eat the bear. So, we can take the bear. Oh, because we left him on the shore. Okay. So then, snake and mongoose? Maybe? No, the mongoose will eat the snake. Mongoose and wolf, no. Snake and bear, no. So, mongoose and bear, but that's too heavy. Um, wolf and snake? I think? Yeah? Okay. Um, and then we can take, no, we can't take the bear, take the mongoose, take this, take the wolf and the snake again, take the bear. Oh shit, did the bear eat? No, the bear doesn't eat the mongoose, we're safe. Okay, and then we take these two again. There. <laughs> End of conversation, I suppose. Let's talk to Glory quick. If you can think of anything else, it's important you tell me. I'm sorry, Agent Tethers. I've told you everything I know. Okay, so she doesn't know anything. Let's get a milkshake with our boss. Director Jennings. Ah, good to see you, Tethers. Can't stay away from these milkshakes, I see. They are sublime. You've got to listen. There are terrible things happening in Scoggins. The foreman at the eraser factory, Isaac Davner. Well, actually, his real name is Ed Davis. He was abducted from the factory, dragged away by tiny forest gnomes. And, and looking for him, I found the body of an astronaut in the forest. The Brotherhood, that's the local oh gnome my God. led me to a cabin with a reclusive scientist studying eclipses and lunacy. Then, last night, I found a camp around a crashed lunar lander and the remains of a missing cross-country skier. Only one conclusion! The astronauts in the forest are murdering people! Oh my god. Tethers, you're embarrassing yourself. We do sound a bit bananas. Not as bananas as, um, hybrid Bigfoot people though look believe me i know how crazy it sounds 
I don't think you do, Tethers. But I saw them. Astronauts. There's a camp in the woods. Camping. Maybe that's what you need. Spend some time getting back to nature. It'll clear your head. But they're killing people. Maybe you don't believe me about the astronauts. What tipped you off, Tethers? <laughs> there are at least six missing persons cases in Scoggins. Possibly more. I already spoke to Sheriff Bog. Good man. Got the situation under control. Then why are you still here? Just for the milkshakes? Where are all these agents from? Secret Service? CIA? NSA? NASA? Just stay out of their way and let them do their jobs. It's classified, Tethers. Okay. I don't know what Jim told you. Ingram, it's not what he told us. It's what he told you. What? I hope Jim's not in any trouble. He was just helping me out with my case. You're not on a case, Tethers. Vacation, remember? Yes, sir. But the eraser factory foreman, Isaac Davner, could turn into a permanent vacation. Uh -oh. Yes, sir. Let's sound a little bit more crazy just for fun. Director Jennings, since you've been here, have you seen any hidden people? Hidden people? Is that what the locals call the undesirables? Oh. Not exactly. They're gnomes. Uh, forest gnomes. <clears throat> That's a no. So, no, then? That was a no. All right, Director Jennings. I won't come back until I have proof of what I've seen. Heathers, you're a good puzzle agent, I'm assuming. I'd hate to see you throw that away. Noted, sir. Didn't one of our puzzles involve images of the gnomes? Like, multiple times? I feel like that's proof enough. Agent Tethers. Lori? I heard what you said about astronauts. I know it sounds hard to believe, but I know what I saw. Isaac used to say he had dreams about astronauts. Uh-oh. They were trying to tell him something. I thought you'd want to know. I've got to find it. The body of the astronaut. Help Nelson retrace the steps and find the body of the astronaut in the forest. Rotate the tiles to create a path from Nelson to the astronaut. Okay. Uh, nope. Um. That's really our only option there but we could do this mm, nope then. Oh, there we go. Empty? It's an empty suit. It's been empty the whole time. <laughs> Davner? It doesn't fit me anymore. Isaac? I, I mean, Ed Davis? No, it's Isaac Davner now. Those astronauts at the camp, are, are you working with them? Not anymore. When the mission went bust, I tried to run away. But I had to run into the Moose Ear Diner. And fall in love with the waitress. I've been trying to make a new life ever since. Interesting. 
Hermes too. I haven't seen it in any of the official records. It was a secret mission, based on confidential research from some crazy scientist. They sent us to the moon with a device, a lunar ray. We were ordered to put it on the surface, but something went wrong. A lunar eclipse? I guess so. The boys on the surface didn't have a chance. As soon as they got back to the module, they went completely insane. Had to lock them in the airlock and scuttle the mission. And you crashed in Scoggins. I realized that the ray was a weapon. I saw you taken away by the hidden people, didn't I? Yeah, they brought me back to the lander. Why did they take you there? I don't know. They whisper, but in a language I don't understand. I'm not sure why, but I think they were taking me to the lunar ray. They want me to destroy it. I, I, I guess we're in. I'll help you, Isaac. You will, but aren't you with the FBI? That lunar ray is way too powerful to return to the government. And besides, I'm on vacation. <laughs> The government guys have already found the lander. We'll have to get rid of that guard. Does your gun have a silencer? We don't have to hurt anyone. Maybe if I make a noise, I can distract him. Is there any gum? Oh, there's some puzzles. Everybody has, everybody has a puzzle. The lunar ray alters the trajectory of the rock regardless of how it's thrown. Place the trees in the way of the where the rock bounces off them to hit the secret service agents don't let the rock fly out of the forest when thrown the lunar array will force the rock in the following pattern north east south west so counterclockwise we will keep repeating this path okay I'm a little confused Place the trees in the way of where the rock bounces them. So we're trying to bounce it. So it's going to go north first, and then west second. Does it stay? Does it like actually go up the square? Or does it just like stay? West. And then south. Hit that, come down south. Come over here, hit these trees. And then go north again. And then go west again. So it'll go north, but it, then it can't, so it'll go east, and then it stops here, and then it goes south, and then it stops here, and then it goes west, stops here, tries to go north again, can't, and then goes east, maybe. Oh, yep. Yeah. We've got to shut down that ray. The only safe place for that ray is at the bottom of Lake Sven. Keep an eye on the site while I check it out. Agent Tethers, if the government gets that weapon, they'll be able to turn anyone into feral screaming lunatics, just like my crewmates. Doing. That's it. 
that's their home. But the ray, it's repelling them, keeping Aww. them from returning home. I've got to disable it. Unlock the module. Using the control module, make a program to move all three electrons into all three receptors. Oh, I see. Okay. So, up. Um... Go up, that'll go left. We go up some more. That one will be stuck there. That one will go up to here. Go up again. Oh! Uh oh. We're in trouble. Locked in my own room. The story was that it was for my own safety. I guess I should be thankful they didn't send me to jail. Oh, uh, Jim? Hello? Nelson, finally! Oh, hello, Jim. Listen, it's about these Scoggins tapes. Enough with the tapes already! Yeah, I'm really, really sorry about that, but you've got to hear this. I think you left your recorder on or, or something. It's labeled, Sighting, Hotel Alley. That's when I saw one of the hidden people whispering to Bo Murphy. There's this weird sound. I can't make it out. Wait, I know that sound. It was playing under Olaf Wellhaven's reel to reel. That explains it. Thanks, Jim. Uh, okay, but what does... I figured out how Olaf Velhaven was able to solve the problem of lunacy. It's the hidden people. He was inviting them into his cabin to speak to him. I've got to get back to Olaf's cabin. And that means finding a way out of this room. He did say, like, let's celebrate when he was done, like there were other people with him. Here is the furniture to create a path for Ella Nelson to exit the room without being seen through the windows. Only the two dressers are tall enough to block the windows, get Nelson out of there. Two dressers, these? Yeah. Uh. Can he stand on the bed? Is that allowed? I don't know. It's gonna get us busted. I feel like he has to stand on the bed. Oh no, maybe, well. Can we be on top of a dresser to begin with? Let's try that. Nope, okay. If you're getting lost, we start from the beginning. What? Where'd my Nelson go? He's gone. There, there, resetting it helped. Um, okay, so. I want the bed over here then no that's what I just did and it didn't work mm. okay Can't. 
Maybe if we... Ah, there, that works. That works, that works. Olaf get the hidden people to talk to him. Oh, we're just here. Okay. Well, we will figure out how the hidden people did it on the next episode of Puzzle Pieces. Until then, have a wonderful week, and I will see you all next Monday for another episode of Puzzle Agent 2. Thank you all so much for joining me. It was a blast. Until next time. Bye. Hmm.